Last, last year at Guadalajara at the IAC conference, mm -hmm. you talked about plans to go to the Mars, and and uh, and I know you guys have been working on that since then. Yep. You uh, do you so you plan at some point to talk about that work uh, publicly? Yeah, I'm thinking probably the upcoming IAC in Adelaide uh, might be a good opportunity to do the updated version of the Mars architecture because it's it's evolved quite a bit since uh, that last talk. Um, yeah, I might ask for uh, questions to be collected ahead of time and for that IAC. <laughs> um, Good strategy. There were some very enthusiastic people to the mic at the IAC last time. Um, <laughs> but but um, the, 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 you know, the, the, the key thing that got to be figured out is, like, how do you pay for this whole, you know, something to go to Mars? That's for, super expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, I kind of think by kind of you know if we downsize the um, the, the the Mars vehicle, you know, make it uh, capable of doing uh, Earth orbit activity as well as uh, you know Mars activity, then um, you know maybe we could pay for it with by using it for Earth orbit activity. Um, that's that's uh, one of, that's one of the key elements in the new uh, architecture. It's, it's, it's similar. It's similar to what was at ISC, but it's a, uh, it's it, it's a bit a little bit smaller, still big, but 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 I think it's um, I, I think this one's got a shot at uh, uh, being real, <laughs> and and uh, on on the on the economic front, mm -hmm. you know that's the trick.